check the mic and make sure it sound right. And I hope the mic does sound right. Hi, I'm DK Will. This is DK Will. Talk about it. And I've done plenty of videos about investing in XRP and cryptocurrencies, gold. I've even done videos regarding the Iraqi dinar investment, as well as uh, buying when the market's red. Uh, buy low, sell high. Um, I think I've even done a little bit about dollar cost averaging, or at least made mention of it, but uh, this is going to talk about a little bit more. But what it's really going to talk about is the opposite. <clears throat> Instead of investing, divesting. Uh, during a conference call, one of the gentlemen on the, one of the members said you should do a video about uh, selling out when it's time to sell out. And that's what we're going to do. This is uh, divesting during a crypto bull run to secure and protect your profits. Secure be the first part. Protecting is another matter. Well, let's talk about securing them right now. What is divesting? What does it mean? And how can we benefit from a divestment strategy? And do you have one? Well, divesting is the process of selling an asset, cryptocurrencies being the asset in this regard. <clears throat> but of course, it would apply to anything. It's done for either financial or social goals. It's the opposite of investing. Um, I think we're here for financial goals. I don't really have a social goal. I'm not a maximalist. I'm not trying to create a revolution. I'm simply trying to earn uh, income for me and my family and maybe even generations of families if we really uh, make good investments. <clears throat> now, divesting and divestiture and divestment are often used in a business context to describe companies or governments that, that divest some of their holdings by selling them off. However, you know, I say paradigm whisperer, right? I want you to take a look in the mirror. If you don't have a mirror nearby, look in the glass. If you don't have the glass, look in, look in your phone's reflection, look at your hands, look at your legs, look at your Whatever you can see, it's kind of hard to see your face if you don't have a mirror, but in the end, you still know it's you, right? Because in your portfolio, you are your company. And so when we talk about divesting as a company or a government, that's you. And your portfolio's breakup value can sometimes prove to be of greater value to you than it is as a whole. And I put in parentheses as a hold. Because sometimes you can sell off portions of your portfolio to your benefit, as well as sell off portions of your portfolio as a divestment strategy. And hopefully after we're done uh, going over this video, it may encourage you to sell off what would be worth more when liquidated than when retained. And there is a wonderful bonus in the end based on this strategy. Now, of course, many of us have heard about dollar cost averaging but i'm going to tell you also about dollar sell averaging your dollar cost average in your dollar sell average out and you can see the three red arrows here the rays and they're pointing at different points of purchase this is obviously a hypothetical chart and a hypothetical situation of course, you can add zeros, take zeros away. You can do different figures, different percentages, but the concept is what I want you to get because hopefully you have dollar cost average and you have bought in the red and pulled your average cost per coin down. And if you have done that, then you're going to really appreciate this video helping you also to take advantage of your selling while at the same time not completely selling out. So let's say, for instance, in March, you want to buy 1,000 U coins at $1.25, and your goal is a 25% return on investment. That's what you want. So right here, first arrow on top, you bought in. You've been watching it since here. You see it's on a run. Maybe you waited too late. It's FOMO, maybe, but doesn't matter. We can fix FOMO here, baby. We can fix FOMO. But see, you bought in at $1.25, so clearly that's your cost. It's not a cost average. It's a cost because there's nothing to average it to. You've put $1,250 in, you have a 25% goal, and your goal, therefore, is to make $312.50. When you extrapolate that and do all the math, your 25% target price is $1.56 per U coin. This is a fictitious U coin, obviously. But that's not a very big run, $1.56 from $1.25. That ain't too bad at all. You know, 31 cents, basically. But that's your goal. 
Well, as you can see, when you bought in on this red arrow and it ran up right after you bought it, it didn't make it quite to where you were going, so you didn't sell, and then it came crashing down, and there's a second arrow. So now you're at 75 cents. What are you going to do? Well, if you've been listening to DK Will talk about it, you are going to buy when it's red. You're going to buy. You're not going to sell. You're not going to be scared and rattled because you believed in it in the first place. You actually believe it's going to get to $1.56. If you didn't, then why would you buy it? So stick with your belief. Stick with your belief. So now is a good time to do what we do in April here. We're going to buy a thousand more just like we did before, but we're going to get them for less. We're going to get them for 75 cents. So now we got a $750 cost added to our $1,250 cost for $2,000 for 2,000 coins. We got a dollar cost average of a dollar. So even in this scenario so far, we've pulled that down to a dollar. We have less distance to go from 75 cents to break even. But we didn't invest to break even, did we? No, no, no. We invested it to profit. And so. When it starts going back up, it reaches where you bought it. It tickles a little bit, but it doesn't get to your gold. And before you know it, here it comes down again. You're sweating a little bit, but it's okay. It's only May. But then in June, it takes a bottom out crash, and you watch it, and it crashes down to the bottom. So in July, what are you going to do? You're going to do the same thing. You're going to dollar cost average in, and now you're going to get them at 50 cents. So for the initial investment of $1,250, you got 1,000 coins. Now for $1,250, you're going to get 2,500 coins. So now you have 4,500 U coins for $3,250. And your dollar cost average is only 72 cents per coin. Don't forget, you were willing to pay $1.25 a coin before. So now you're only dollar cost average down to 72 cents. So now you're tapped out. You got your bag. You're ready to make a profit. Remember, you buy low and you sell high. Notice what happens next. We start getting some action. So. Think about selling because after that action started, it really did run and it actually made it to $1.56. Roughly, it was $1.56.25. So we are going to just say $1.57 for simplicity. So you sell 2,500 of your U coins and you get $3,950. Remember, your initial investment was $3,250. You get $3,925 for a $675 profit. Not 25% return on investment. No, you didn't make it there yet, but wait, there's more. You did make $675 when your goal was only $312.50. So that's your return on investment so far on your $3250. That's money in your pocket. So your initial investment is in your pocket. You have $675 extra dollars, and you still have 2,000 coins left. So now what you have is a free portfolio, and it's better than free, baby. I'm going to tell you why it's better than free. Because the people who don't do this paid you $675 to own it. They actually paid you more than $675 to own it. And you'll find out here when it spikes up a little bit more, it did better than you expected. It went to $1.75 from, remember, it's only $1.25 is where you bought it. So you say, well, I got 2,000 more. I'm going to sell some of those. You sell 1,000 of those, you coins. You get $1,750. Now you got $1,750 plus $675. You got a total return on investment of 74.6% for $2,425. Because, see, this is money in your pocket. This is money over and above your additional $3,250. It didn't take much. It wasn't hard. You just had to stay cool. And you had the dollar cost average in and dollar sell average out. So you have recouped your initial investment, plus you still have 1,000 U coins, folks, with a current value of $1,750, more than you paid on your original 1,000 coins of $1,250. But now you have them for free, better than free. Somebody paid you, and you pocketed your money back, plus $2,425. Because you sold when you said you would, and then it got even sweeter, so you sold some more. So for divesting during a crypto bull run to secure and protect your profits, here's the thing. I've said it before. I know you've heard it before. Nobody makes any money. And nobody loses any money until somebody sells something. And see, you've done that. 
So we know what divesting means. We know we can benefit from a strategy. Big question, do you have one? Because if you do have a strategy, it will prevent you having an emotional swing. You'll be thinking more on a technical values and reaching your technical deliberations that you've made. I'm going to sell 10% here, 15% there, 20% here or there, whatever. With a reasonable goal. Because in our dollar cost example, we sold 22, we bought, excuse me, 22.2% of our total portfolio initially. That's what it turned out to be. I mean, if we first bought it, it was 100% of our portfolio. And then we bought another 22.2% when it fell. So we pulled our average down to a dollar, if you recall. And then it really dropped. So we doubled up and we bought 55.6%. And then we started selling. We sold that 55.6%, remember, for a profit, for our money back and a profit. Then we sold another 22.2%. And then we kept. 22.2% for a free portfolio. So how's your patience now? Does the market swings make you sweat? Do you get all twisted and all upset? Or are you glad you made the bet? I just did that because I saw I was heading to <laughs> So when you want to make money in the crypto market bull run, here's something you have to remember. Don't be afraid of the red. That's buying opportunities. But have a strategy to sell. Because remember, we only have two gold arrows here and three purchases. You could do two purchases and three sells. You can do it however you like. But the good part is we still have our original thousand that we were willing to make the sacrifice to buy in the first place. It's worth more than we spent for it in the first place. We've put the profits in our park in our pocket in the second place, and now we get to watch with patience of Job in the third place. So I hope this helps everybody start thinking about having a strategy because see when you have a strategy, because the crypto bull run is going to come. When you have a strategy, it makes you not get nervous and scared when you have a strategy. But if you go on the emotional swings, you're going to fall to the psychology of the market. I don't have that to show you, but you already know what it is. I showed it to you before. And now I've given you just a seed. It's just a seed for you to use in devising your own strategy for divesting. But just remember, you ain't going to make no money. And you ain't going to lose any money until you sell something i'm dk will this is dk will talk about it and i've talked about it have a wonderful day check the mic and make sure it sound right